take a look at how the markets are performing on this day. The Johannesburg Stock Exchange is a firmer in midday trade with its global peers next. Investors await key central bank decisions amid concerns about elevated inflation. Locally, focus is primarily on the results of the municipal elections. Joining us now is Michael Traherne, who is Portfolio Manager at Vestec, to talk through the latest business stories. Mr. Traherne, good to have you with us once again. Now, locally, the focus is on the results of the municipal elections. Many businesses have raised concerns about the governance as well as issues of service delivery at municipal level. What will they be looking for from these results? Yeah, afternoon, Tommy. For sure, very, things are looking very fluid at the moment. It will be interesting to see uh, how we, we end up in the next few days. Um, I think from a business perspective, regardless of who wins what municipality, uh, there's a lot of work to do, um, and that's, that means there's a lot of backlog to get through. So whoever wins uh, has their work cut out for them. Uh, it also means that uh, things aren't going to change in the short term because to work through that backlog is going to take a while. Um, I think what businesses will really be looking at is uh, will there be coalitions formed in certain key municipalities and how stable will those uh, coalitions be? Uh, what business doesn't want is an unstable coalition uh, where there's more time spent with infighting than actually getting service uh, delivery done. So that will be one thing that, that we look out for and then uh, obviously to see uh, where, how the chips fall and what uh, sort of political certainty do we have going forward uh, to the elections in 2024. Net One EUPS Technologies has announced that it has signed an agreement to acquire 100% of a fintech company, the Connect Group, for approximately 3.7 billion rand. Can you talk us through that deal? Looks like a very exciting deal. Uh, your, your viewers might recognize the name Net One because uh, they, they're behind uh, some of the grant uh, distributions uh, made by Home Affairs. So they're, they're really in the cash space. Uh, they're, they're buying fintech player here for 3.7 billion rand. Uh, what's worth noting is that the net one value themselves is only slightly more than uh, 3.7 billion. So they're effectively doubling the size of the company here. Uh, they're taking on a fair amount of debt, but it looks like they're buying the business for a very, very good price. Um, and the share price is up 21% on the news. Uh, so the market's very excited about this move. Um, and Net One say that they, that they want to grow their fintech presence, particularly uh, among the unbanked. Now, MassMart has released its sales update for the 39 weeks uh, that ended on the 26th of September 2021. How are those numbers looking? It's, it's a mixed bag. MassMart's currently going through a restructuring, so it's always very difficult to pull out the core of the numbers. Uh, they say the restructuring is going okay so far. They've saved over a billion rand in cost cuts. Uh, however, they said the riots earlier this year cost them two and a half billion rand. Uh, about 1.3 billion was just stock loss. Um, a big chunk of that will be covered by insurance, but they expect to still have to pay 650 million rand of their own money to, to cover all the losses. In terms of their brands, uh, Macro doing really, really well. Uh, Macro saw uh, alcohol sales up 48%, although off the low base. Uh, but the problem child game continues to struggle, and uh, they saw a uh, turnover down 8%. So still a lot of work to do from the management team uh, to, to turn things around, but market like these numbers, share price up 4%. Michael Traherne, thank you so much for today's market update. And, and as Michael was pointing out there, what are investors looking for during these election periods? Certainly they're wanting stable government, stable coalitions where infighting does not get in the way of service delivery and also the impact there of the unrest that we saw that was experienced in the country. A total, he says, of two and a half billion rand. That was the total loss. And in as much as insurance companies will be covering some of that, they still have to fork out around 650 million rand of their own money. Thank you very much, Michael Traherne, for that.